Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios Tech and Reviews, and today I'm here to show the ASUS Loki power supply. None of the reviews say it has coil wine, but it does have coil wine. In fact, I'm tired of purchasing power supplies that have coil wine and no reviewer tests it. All you need to do is have a set GPU, test it, put a microphone, as I'm gonna do in this video, and done. You measure with samples and then you can compare sample A, sample B. Oh, this one has less coil wine. It's 26 decibels of coil wine. It's 30 decibels of coil wine. It's not rocket science. For goodness sakes, Gamers Nexus, LTT, all of you, you have the equipment to test for coil wine. You have equipment to test for Ripple. Ripple is not going to make your computer unstable if it's within means and proper boundaries. But coil wine has been the bane of many different people in the gaming industry. Now, if you like the fact that I'm going to be testing this, please like, subscribe, and share this video to help this video get out there. Because if this video doesn't get out there, guess what? Gamers Nexus LTT hardware busters won't see this video and nothing will ever change. This power supply is actually not made by ASUS. It's made by Great Wall. This Corsair power supply does have coil wine as well. This is the Corsair SF750 watt power supply. Now the point of testing for coil wine is because it's the bane of many different gamers in the world. Who wants to listen to bzzz as you're gaming? I sure as heck don't. Now everyone says it's so quiet, but it's about time we get some honesty here. But first let's talk about some of the positives of this power supply, because there's no point in just destroying it, at least not yet. One of the positives about this power supply is the fan pretty much never turns if you have reasonable load. I'm running an AMD AM5 platform with the Ryzen 7900 12 core 24 thread CPU and an ASUS RTX 4070 OC. And yet it runs nice and cool and the system actually runs cool and it runs stable. So that's a positive. This is one of the most expensive SFX small form factor power supplies money can buy at this time. And we get this not even bundled together. Now it is stylish, so we can give them that. It looks cool. It's ARGB, which means you have to have the header on your motherboard. And here's the pinout of an ARGB. Look at your user manual to know if you have this connection type for your motherboard. SFX to ATX bracket. That's a plus, not all power supplies include that. Then we have all these different power supply cable options. Let's start with this one. This is the new PCI power connector for modern computers. And we have two, two six pin connections, which has the two extra headers to make it two eight pin. Awesome. Now, what else do we have? Without the 12 pin modern connector, to either a six or eight pin connection. And this power supply also has, yeah, you're seeing this right, a 12 pin to 12 pin. So to power supply and to graphics cards. So we can see which one is power supply right here. It says PSU on this. And the other one shows 600 watts. That's what it's rated for. Awesome. This is Molex connection type. Pretty much all removed to serial ATA, but we do have a serial ATA as well. So that's a plus that includes something old, but who would normally need this? Like what would ever use this? Thermal take swap ads came out in 2022. And I would have never thought they would use this type of connection, but it's an awesome plus that it includes this really ancient relic in a modern power supply. And this is what serial ATA looks like right here. That's the type of connection with a power supply written on it, serial SATA for serial ATA. Now it also includes a power cable, actually a nice hefty one, which is actually quite amazing. 
Now let's get to that part we all been waiting for, listening to that lovely coil line when gaming. There's a difference between real world and specs, and this is one of those. To be fair to ASUS, they do not make this power supply. They don't make any power supply. They have a contractor called Great Wall, the same one that Corsair uses for their SF power supply series, which is an SFX power supply, which has coil wine. Who would have thunk that they would have coil wine still in a new power supply? Hmm. Anyways, now you know. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. Those simple ripple thing testing and having a machine that tests something and, and, and it tells you this is the fan noise but not testing coil wine. That's kind of lazy. I don't like that, and neither should you.